Hey there guys, my name is Kenny, welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to be talking about how I turn my Reclaim Clay into Casting Slip. And there's a few things that we need to talk about because I don't have a hydrometer in my studio. So we're going to be measuring it with a scale. And I'll show you how to do that. Follow me. Jumping right into it, I got myself a regular kitchen scale. And typically you want a scientific one, but we're looking for grams on it. And we're going for 100. And on this, we're using the measuring cup, 100 milliliters. 100 grams of water equals 100 milliliters of water. All right, so I'm gonna try to zero this out as best as I can. We got it right about there. And we're going for 100 grams. Okay. So they're not perfectly synced, but I'll say that's perfect. So we got about 100 grams of water. I'll say give or take it's off by 5 grams, 5, 10 grams, which is not actually good. But all right, we needed that to be calibrated so that we can do this next part. All right, so this next part is um, the slip body that I'm using is very viscous. So it's very hard to get it to settle. So we might not know exactly what 100 milliliters of this is but we're gonna try our best to kind of pat it down a little bit and probably i would say just a little bit more pat it down i would say that it is pretty good at the 100 meter line a milliliter line all right so it comes out to Roughly 900 of oh, 190, which is a little heavy. Oh, I moved the scale, but around around 190. So I would say my slip has a little bit too much clay and not enough water, but that's totally fine. I wrote that down over here, and best way to do it is just add a little bit of water. But we're gonna do that a little later. So, we're going to get into the next step. All right. At the root of this, I want to do about at least five pounds of this slip. So, let's weigh out as much as we can. So, we got... Okay. This is really, really thick slip. I'll add water to it whenever I'm mixing it. Oh, that's too much. Take some out. All right, that's a good two pounds. We'll dump that in there as best as we can. All right. So give or take. The container that I'm throwing into might be a little too big for what I'm about to do. So I might, ooh. So I actually might do 10 pounds instead. So I'm gonna do this five times. So we got about 10 pounds of, of unfoculated slip or slip that has not been defoculated yet. So right there. We got soda ash right here. This is baked baking soda at 200 degrees for about one hour. 
if it turns brown or any different color than white you messed up restart all together and it shouldn't be that bad because it's only a dollar all right so with that said we're going to measure out about <clears throat> half a cup of water we're gonna pour that into this glass cup right there and we're gonna put in about two tablespoons into this soluble solution i've never really put powder directly into that uh into the uh slip here i always made it as a uh, soluble solution it's easier to drip put drips and drops into it. So you're just gonna mix, 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 mix. It is a little thick around the bottom. So you gotta definitely give it a good shake and stir around. All right. So once we defoculate this, it's going to be much easier to um, fix and adjust the uh, slip to the right uh, specific gravity. So let's get right into that. All right. Right here, we got the uh, one of the most popular uh, defoculant uh, chemicals, sodium silicate. And I got gloves on because we got to pr uh, practice proper PPE. And this is toxic and we do not want that on our hands at all. So, I want to also give a special thanks out to my friend Beth for giving me some of her silicate. Alright, so we're just gonna scoop out just a small bit because we really don't need that much. And to, some people put into plastic, but I prefer to put into glass. Alright, put that aside. And alright, we're going to close that up and put this aside. First, I want to show you how the clay body works before I um, add the soda ash and the defoculant. And it's really thick. And right now, this is not ideal slip. So, for this about, you only really want about 1% altogether in, in the clay body. So, we're probably just going to put a couple drops. So, first, I'm going to put this... Um, Soda ash solution, probably around about two drops after a really good mixing. Oh, I really don't think that's enough. For some reason, I wasn't able to um, record myself putting the sodium silicate in, um, but I would say in about this much of clay. I will put about maybe five drops of this into it. Very small drops. I wouldn't put it in now because it will over defoculate it and it will make it into a congealed jelly, which I don't want to do. But typically you want to put in about five drops of this. So I didn't get a chance to show you me putting in the uh, sodium silicate, but it typically, typically takes about a day for it to settle. And this is a little thick right now, but I think it's probably because it's cold out and it takes about 24 hours to cure. So we'll be right back at it tomorrow. All right. One thing that we can do before tomorrow is weigh out the slip and see what has changed so we got some stuff in there so we're just gonna zero it out again instead of cleaning it fully all right we're trying to get a hundred milliliters 
of the slip again on this side. Whew. And yeah, I can't really tell. Probably why you should clean it. But I'm going to look from up top. And I will say that is about 100 milliliters. And okay i see i think i see the issue i have 200 that's way too much water 250 no 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 i have too much clay so let's see what happens if i add water to this all right, that makes sense. That's good that we, we scaled that real fast. All right, so I was getting a reading that it was 250, which is a whole lot. This is just a little cheat sheet that I wrote up. And I hope it helps you guys visualize this much better. And um, yeah, take a pause right here. 250. So that's way too heavy. So we're gonna add some water. In stride, of course. All right, we added some more water. Get a glove on. We'll see this real fast. Protect yourself always. Use the proper PPE. All right. There we go. You see that? That's what we're going for, runny. All right. We're almost there. It's not perfect. But yes, this is ideally what you want to see in your slip for it to run. Whew. All right. So we're about 150 grams per 100 milliliters. So we're going to add in about two scoops of clay. Now let's do three. Three scoops of clay and hopefully that should be enough slip to thicken it up. Ideally, we're going for around 172 to about 180. So with that, we're going to try to scale it up again, weigh it out. Um, let's do an extra twist. All right. So still runny, very runny. So let's check out what 100 milliliters is now in grams. All right. So, we are in the range of about 80, 180. 
I would say, well, wait, wait, okay, it's going in between 170 and 180. This right here, I would say, is about perfect for uh, slipping, a uh, slip casting, just like that. So, following these steps, this is the best way to adjust up and down with the scale. All right, check out how easy it pours. This is exactly how you want it. And tomorrow, about 12 hours to 24 hours, after letting it sit and cure up a little bit, um, it'll be ready to pour. Thank you for joining me on my video. And you don't really need much, some reclaimed clay, a little egg beater with a power drill, and a scale and a measuring cup, and then you'll be able to make your own casting slip. Of course, you need that soda ash and um, sodium silicate. But beyond that, I hope I helped you out. Thank you, guys.